Welcome. This is our wild energy flow. So we're going to be embodying Kali in this flow. Just come to stand with the feet hip width apart. We're going to be embodying her, her wild ferociousness and her complete lack of obeying social norms. So let's just start in a forward fold. So drape the body forward, bend the knees sway a little bit side to side. And what we're actually going to practice here is breath of, well, it's a variation, a kundalini variation on breath of joy, upon which I've added my own variation to sort of invoke Kali. So some of you have likely already done this with me. It's part of the 30-minute Kriya and 40-day Kriya members who've done that program. Bend the knees deeply, roll up one vertebra at a time. So how it works, we inhale a third of the way arms up inhale another third of the way arms wide inhale all the way up and then exhale out the mouth but for our Kali theme we're gonna add the tongue so it's gonna look like so it's like a lion's breath as you come out so inhale a third inhale a third inhale a third lion's breath as you fold all right let's do it inhaling It's a real big drop swing that's happening, a really big drop swing when you release and let go. It needs to be a total surrender, almost violent. And again, this is what Kali wants from us. She wants us to be ferocious risk takers living on the edge. If you lose your balance while you do this, I know I've done this and at some points almost fallen over. Kudos to you. Good job. That's what we're looking for here. Keep it going. Keep up, get into it. We're here for just about another 45 seconds. Really let it all go. You know you've got the things <laughs> that you <laughs> want to release. Someone you want to punch in the face. I don't know. Something you want to punch, right? This is, this is where you're letting it all hang out. Last two. Last one. After this big hang, inhale, come on up, suspend the breath. Interlace the thumbs, engage your root lock, pull the pelvic floor, rectum sex organs up and in, pull the navel in, lift the gaze, lift the fingers. And exhale, just let the hands release, interlace the hands behind the low back and fold forward. Whew, shake the head, yes and no in this upside down shape. Move the weight on the feet side to side. Bend the knees deeply, roll up. And we're just gonna shake the hand, shake them up, shake them down. Those of you who've done the elemental chakra yoga challenge, you're going to see some similarities in some of the lymphatic flows in that class and what we're doing here. While some of the movements overlap, the actual energy behind what we're doing is totally different. Really shake the hands like you mean it. You are flicking every unneeded negative piece of energy out your hands right now, right? Just let it all go. The more crazy you get in the wrist, this is so good for the joints. Really go nuts. The intention is totally different than in 
the lymphatic flow classes because there it's all about moving energy and here we're just all about releasing what we don't want. This is like anger detox. All right, and now we're gonna sway side to side. So wider stance and you're gonna have one hand hit your shoulder right below the shoulder and one hand hit your low back, see that? So it's shoulder, low back, shoulder, low back. And it's okay to let the opposite heel kind of come up off the mat as you do this. And this isn't like a self-directed anger thing. This is just kind of beating your war drum is sort of how I think about it. <laughs> We're like prepping for more anger release coming soon. This is the tribal drum beat. And yes, we're massaging key meridian points here. And it is good for the lymphatic system. All right, and now tribal war drum intensifies. I just want you to beat the chest. So this is, we're going for right above the area of the breast. So man, woman, doesn't matter. This is really tapping and massaging the area between the pec and the breast tissue and let it loose. Tap, tap, tap. Should feel super, super good. Nice, and now take this down to the hips. Tappy tap the hips. So again, it's our tribal warrior drum beat, goddess, <laughs> stampede circle. And you can see I'm swaying side to side this whole time. It's like you, you just don't stop moving. It's kind of the goal of this whole class. We're just not going to stop moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving. All right, nice. And then into a wide goddess squat position. I want you to inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, side bend, doesn't matter which side. It's the exhale. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, side bend, doesn't matter which side. Exhale. All right, so you feel the rhythm here. Here we go. I'm just going to do this a couple times each side. So the exhale is with the arm straight. The inhale is the side bend. But really, whatever you're feeling here, right? And we're kind of, it's kind of just like a grand plie in second position. Those of you that are ballet junkies like me, really no way to do this wrong. Definitely working the inner thigh. Last two. Last one, inhale, reach out in this T shape, turn the toes in, interlace the hands behind the low back, lift the heart, and exhale, fold forward. Shake the head, yes and no. Shoulders glide down and back. Send that fist high to the sky and then forward and then drop the hands. Here we go. Now, feet can be 45 degrees pointing out, or you can keep them parallel. We're doing the seaweed shape. We kind of played with this in an earlier class in this series. Here is where I want you to let it all go. So you're reaching for one edge of the mat, and then you're reaching for the opposite corner of the mat. Your goal is to take up as much space as possible. How can you? It's like you had talons or magic potion coming out of your hands. How can you get all sides of the mat all potioned up, the left side and the right side. So you're making this really intense, should feel really good on the low back. And then what's going to happen is this is just going to emerge into skandhasana. It's just going to happen naturally. You're going to choose which side you want to do. I'm going to bend into the right knee and here you are. You're in skandhasana. Move the weight forward and back. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Crisscross it over to the other side. Make sure to flex that opposite foot. Moving forward and back. All right, and then whatever side you're doing, just crisscross the hands so you can actually press back into a down dog. First kind of linear pose we've done. Don't worry, we're not gonna stay here long. Pedal through the legs, spread the fingers wide. And then walk the hands and the feet towards the middle of the mat. Slow roll up. 
Take the hands to the hips. Now again, I don't care if the feet are turned out pretty ballerina or more parallel. You just need to feel what feels stable for you. You know, how the femur attaches into the acetabulum, the hip socket is so different for each of us. So really this is just about finding your stability. I'm gonna show you the move. So you wanna keep the right foot a little bit back and it's just like we're kicking. See this kicking, kicking up and back, up and back. And you can do this with the, I want the knee bent, honestly, and even if the standing leg can be micro bent, that's gonna make me happier. Just a totally different way of getting in and accessing the hip, and then take a step forward and other leg, super easy. Don't worry if you're doing it right, it should just feel like you're it's kind of like Kali's skirt, you know, with the arms. That's what I'm thinking about here. It's just like everything is just hanging and wagging. And then step back and do it on the other leg again. And then shift it to a diagonal. So watch me closely or just watch the first one. My leg's gonna graze the knee and come out, graze and come out. Now, if you have knee issues or this feels like it's torquing the knee, you're just gonna keep it really small. If you micro bend that standing leg, things should be golden for you. Good, and then step it forward and you can do one front and back just to kind of get your rhythm. And then it's like you're inviting it on the diagonal. Micro bend the standing leg. This is so good for the fascia and the feet too. To just kind of see what it's like to try to keep your body in balance as you're doing these crazy motions. Good, that's awesome. Come into chair pose. So all that frenetic energy now just, it's like pull it all in to the center of your core. Visualize your heart is just like black. And all this energy you've generated is just being sucked into this black void, this black center of your core, this black heart. That's just completely able to hold it all and transmute it and it's all just so beautiful. Stay here, two more breaths. Good, and then come all the way down to seated. We're gonna take a half squat position. So what this looks like, it's gonna be a little funky to get into. Some of you are gonna wanna use a block. This is like my favorite prenatal pose that I discovered in prenatal and I just, do it all the time now. So block, it's gonna look like this. Some of you won't need the block. So I have the left knee up, doesn't matter. Left elbow comes on left knee if that's the one you have up. Gyan Mudra in both hands and inhale deeply and exhale. <sighs> Lion's breath, once more. <sighs> Holding here, meditating here, relaxing the shoulders down the back. If this is totally not working for you, just take Sukhasana, just take easy seat. Totally okay. Feel your heartbeat. And then wrapping the arms for eagles, so you're gonna take the right elbow underneath the left. If you wanna come out of the squat position, if it's too much, again, just take Sukhasana. Otherwise, lift the elbows. Keep the shoulder blades drawing down and back. And just breathe into that shoulder tension. And lift the elbows a little bit more. Send the thumbs and the fingers a little farther away from your face. One more huge breath. And then release it, let it all go. Take it to the other side. So if you just stayed in Sukhasana, that's just gonna look like the other leg coming in front. Otherwise, if you were in the full half squat, it means that the right knee will be up, which means the left heel is underneath you. And again, you can use blocks to make this more comfortable or even sit on a bolster. Again, Sukhasana is also fine. 
wherever you are. It's a Gyan Mudra variation with both hands. Inhale, deep breath in. And exhale, tongue out. Once more, inhale. Lion's breath out. Our goal with being still here right now is to have a sense of the inner movement, that inner heat, that inner power on the inside of our skin. You might still feel the heart rate beating a little elevated. Just feel how magical that is, how magical you are. Eagle arms, left elbow underneath the right. You could always switch to Sukhasana now. This is easier for you to do in that position. Shoulder blades glide down. Don't let the shoulders come by the ears. Lift the elbows, send the hands away from the face. Deep breaths. Whether you're in Sukhasana or the squat, sometimes I like to play with just like burrowing the elbows in towards my belly for a moment and then lifting them back up. And breathe into the tops of the traps. Final breath. And then we'll all meet in Sukhasana. And just get quiet. Find total stillness as a contrast to all the movement, all the wild, wild woman forms that we took throughout this class. Maybe notice how much easier it is to sit once you've released her, once you've indulged that wild woman within. We'll just be silent and enjoy a full two minutes of meditation here. Inhale fully, deep breath in. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Once more, big breath in. Exhale, releasing everything now. Really let it go, sigh it out. Dedicating this moment, this time and space to your inner wild woman, remembering this practice, remembering how you feel right now, remembering that you can come back to right here anytime your anger, your inner power, your strength just feels like too much. 
it's been such a pleasure to be wild and unwind with you and I am sending you so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Are you falling in love with Kali's wild energy as you get to know her? These videos are only phase one of a full course I'm leading. Only take this next step if you are ready for potent inner transformation, if you recognize a part of Kali's energy within yourself. Click here to join me for this full program before it's too late. I'd love to see you and to connect with you inside. From my heart to yours, namaste.